I, I, Jake, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm nervous about this one. I'm, there, there's a lot of reasons to be nervous about both these teams. And I think this is such an important series for each of their mentals. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I'm not sure what will happen. I, I think we saw Pioneers as well. Yeah, struggling with those coming back from land blues as Yummy put it. It's, um, yeah. it, it's tough. It's, it's tough to adjust back as well. And yeah, Pioneers certainly didn't show their best in that Anzac uh, tournament we just recently had. So they need to redeem themselves here too. I kind of want to call out Twitch chat because like 89% to 11%, I think it's disrespectful for what Pioneers I know. have done. I mean, Pioneers, silly. they're the defending regional, like they won the last regional. They, they won <laughs> the <laughs> winter of Invitational. So like, I, I, I don't understand that big of a swing, but I don't know. It, it, power, I guess, is that sleeping giant. People expect it to wake up. It, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. No, I, I think it's because they've just been doing so poorly for so long. It's like, surely now is the time, right? And you can see, actually, they're looking good there. Fever just missing an opportunity, but power with the first chance of the game. Yeah, they're getting those first chances, and I like the attack passes off the roof, but Pioneer's defense plays it patient, holds on for now, and that's kind of been a little bit of the theme of the day, I feel like, Jake. Patient defense doing so much work within our region here on day two. Yeah, but again, I don't... I don't love it, honestly. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> they've been pulling it off really well, but when you play against teams with good mechanics, good rotations, it's, it's a lot easier to get scored on. Yeah, and I mean, right now, Power just doing a fantastic job of controlling the middle of the pitch. Amphis misses uh -huh. the bump, but does get scrub off balance. Torsos, a little bit too slow compared to Hunter. We'll get a second go at it, though. Stays with the ball, and it's Power who strikes first. Yeah, Torsos making this look too easy power looking just like they're chilling out there it's actually a really nice turn from torsos and yeah I, i'm trying to think where this idea of them crumbling under pressure came from because I, I guess i guess it's just been a long time we've been seeing these players play right because it used yeah. to always be like oh motivation is low like particularly amphis was guilty of that but i guess last split they did always have that good day one performance and then day two so maybe that's why yeah, and then and then pioneers, but I think like the big one where you can see their confidence being shaken, and this, I'm not going to say this. I'm saying this with respect, okay? But that <laughs> loss to dumb luck now 95x, that would be the kind of loss that rattles your confidence, right? When when you're supposed to be a top three team and you fall for a team that you would think would be kind of an echelon below. But that was also in the third regional when they were already kind of down and out. So yeah. I, I don't think it was a case of confidence. I just think it was a case of bad draws and coming up short against another team that's at their level. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, Pioneers are obviously very good. And yeah, they, they definitely did get an unfortunate draw, like you're saying. But yeah, if you do want to be that top dominant team in the region, you still have to win those convincingly and not leave it to chance in the seeding. And you know what's crazy? If we do see power win this series out, we finally get our power versus ground zero series. Oh, yeah, in RLCS. We haven't seen that yet, eh? No, no, we haven't. Well, yeah, no, we have not. I think we saw it once, actually, way, way, way back when, during, like, the um, group stage of the Winter Open. I'd have yeah. to double-check that one, though. But, like, yeah, it was that long ago. Oh, no, what was that Ground Zero? Sorry, that was Ground Zero versus Pioneers. No, I don't think we have seen it. No, that, that'll that be a fun one. But how I'm going to get there first is the long best True. of seven standing in their way. Now, nah, one goal up, game one, it's over. Just wrap it up, tie it up. Let's move them on. Yeah, obviously, uh, a long way to go. As Torfrost is going to look for uh, Amphis underneath. Instead, they find Scrub, gives them a launch, but briefly lost control of the ball. Either way, power. They've been playing the midfield so well. Yeah, P Pioneers really aren't posing any problems. It just feels like they've been stuck in defense the whole game. And props to power. They're playing really well to, to make it look like that. Yeah, and I mean, this is the kind of start that you want to see, you know, not a lot of mistakes, not many unforced errors on either side, realistically. I mean, to the Pioneers' credit, their defense has been under the pump and they've been rising to it. Only one moment where they've been gotten the better of, but that's all it takes sometimes in this series, Amphis. Can't get the angle. No, they're close. And I mean, look at the pressure. It's continuing. It's really reminding me of our, our series earlier of um, Merge playing and just dominating the, the pressure. Yeah, it, it is very similar to that. And Amphis, oh, cheeky little dribble right there. Can't quite keep it straight. Hunter tries to drive it out. But again, Pioneers, they may have extended too far. Torsos' angle is good. <laughs> Second goal for the vet. And he slows it down, faking out the defender. Very cheeky from him. And it's another dribble goal outplaying the Pioneers. It's not how I'd expect them to get scored on, honestly. 
Yeah, I feel there was a little bit of the urgency coming through for the Pioneers at the end right there. They're starting to push up the field a little bit prematurely compared to what they had been doing, and that was the break in the defensive rotation. So pressure when you're down by a goal under a minute left. You can't be too critical of that, but unfortunately, with a two-goal deficit, you have to think power holds on. No, power, power looking absolutely in control of this first game, and yeah, they're, they're going to be feeling very confident with that. Like we're saying, it's a redemption story, especially since, you know, we heard they were the best team in scrims. They were so good, they can't translate it to game day. They'd be feel so relieved that they're finally translating it here now. Yeah, they would be, but it's only the first step. Still a lot to go as time starts to wind down. Scrub will put one off the post oh. and not in. So a little bit of a frustrating end on top of the Pioneers' loss. Maybe they can get one at the zero second mark, Jake. But yeah, getting shut out game one. Pioneers, that's not really the opening we were hoping to see. I mean, that's more brutal than just a shutout, honestly. I mean, bar that chance right at the end, they had nothing. They were just absolutely on the back foot the whole game. You can see they had nine saves, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, they just really couldn't generate much. No, they couldn't piece it together. Meanwhile, Power just controlled so much of that tempo. 11 shots on target. Torsos, two goals from them. And again, not saying this in, in a means, you know, to be as toxic, but Torsos was kind of the question mark in that winter split in those games in the Pioneers in the past. Mm. Torsos was the one who was a little sluggish, was making those uncharacteristic mistakes, uh, especially from a player as veteran as they happen to be. So to see them stepping up, being a little bit more aggressive, being a little bit more wily and able to get the two goals for power, that's a promising sign for the series. Yeah, no, it was, it was surprising for sure, but it, it's going to show, like you say, his veterancy. He's just composed, brought it back, and has started to look like one of the best players on the team again. Yeah, which was a good sign. Obviously, you know, as this series progresses, Amphis was kind of the standout player when we got to see power uh, yesterday. Fever can be that consistent player as well. Just haven't been given the opportunity to shine. Hasn't needed you just yet. That's what power really needs is the three of them stepping up. But for the Pioneers, who are we looking at to bounce back right now in the second game? Because they spent so much time on defense, it feels like, in that first yeah. game. We didn't get to see anyone. No, all of them. Like, literally all of them had a quiet game. I, I don't think any of them really hit the ball at all. It's Scrub who had that big chance right at the end, but then didn't score it yeah. either. So, yeah, no, Pioneers just need to figure out a way to get into this series. I mean, usually my go-to is always kind of a banana head solo play. That, that's where my eyes tend to look. But if you go back to kind of their performances, you know, during the off season and even towards the end of winter, it, it has been Hunter stepping up mm. and becoming that guy, becoming that player uh, for the team, which is why, as Yummy was talking about in the pre-show, if Hunter's the one experiencing the land blues, it really kind of shakes my confidence for how far the Pioneers can realistically go. Yeah. No, Hunter's been an absolute beast. And yeah, he's looking off. You see him there missing that challenge, being very quiet game one, <laughs> mm. uh, getting back barely in time, but looking like he was scoring an own goal there. It's, yeah, the, Tom, something's off with the Pioneers, and it, it could be centered around Hunter struggling. Yeah, which is something, you know, you would hope to fix as quickly as possible. When you take a look at, like, the standings for Worlds, yes, Pioneers have a pretty sizable lead, but that could evaporate quite quickly if they have, you know, a struggling performance in one or two regionals, if they do something again to what Power did back in winter. I mean, both yeah. Power and Ground Zero can snipe up that spot. So you only need a couple strong performances if you're the Pioneers. I mean, a trip to the Major would secure their world spot, but they got to get there first. Well, it certainly helps that it's double Elim as well, because obviously this is a tough draw, but if they do go to the lower bracket, they should be able to get, you know, top four, top three, like they hope for. But yeah, you still don't want that. You want to take it out now, get that guaranteed top three placement straight away. And Power absolutely wants to throw him down in that position to get upset as well in the Ooh. lower bracket. And this through the corner, making it 1-0. Making it look easy as well. And again, it's off the back of a, a dribble play. Torsos just being very annoying with a nice bump as well. And Anthes is just getting an open net. Yeah, these dribble plays, you're right to call it out. It's definitely giving the Pioneers struggle on that backside. It's, it's usually the second or the third member just not really able to get that fast read to it following the challenge. Pioneers though off the kickoff look like they're putting some pressure, but it's short-lived. Banana Head slows it down for Tarsos to clear it back the other way, and the power Ooh. attack continues. Amphis off a of hunter. Here comes Fever. Banana Head makes the save. Well, here's the counterattack though. The Fever, crucial demo. Hunter's still going to get a chance. Missed Banana it. Head 
Mid-air demo, Banana Head can't get it. Nothing is working here for Pioneers. Yeah, power just... It, it, they're playing very fluidly. Like, they, they never seem panicked. They're not making these crazy dives. Players are just in position to make the read. Until then, Banana Head with a fast shot is able to outpace the defense. And finally, Pioneers get on the board. Yeah, and it's that big man Hunter you were talking about. Outpacing, being that one to set up that great chance. And Banana Head as well, scoring the goal. Beautifully done from Pioneers, and now we need to see more of that. Yeah, it is the start, you would say, for the Pioneers, right? Like, they need to get a few more. Kickoff goal going against them would be a problem. Amphis does get slowed down, but stayed in the box. Interception by Banana Head. Fever shutting it down middle of the pitch. Will be able to play it forward. Has Torsos underneath, but Hunter with that touch, able to break the offensive line. Yeah, and look how awkward Amphis is, although Torsos, fourth fortunate demo respawn we've been seeing that a lot today <laughs> gets the clip oh that was so that was just not fair what happened before to elite with that respawn i i that still hurts me up and <laughs> head down to torsos who is able to push it out safely yeah look at pioneers though like you were saying it just took that one hunter banana head connection to kind of bring them alive shake them up and now they're looking good again yeah i mean they got one goal good start but I don't, it still feels like power is the team dictating the pace right now they're the ones keeping that ball on the blue side they're the ones who have that attack cooking right now and even though we haven't seen that many dynamic goals from them it has been controlled play yeah but look at this now power is certainly struggling a bit more when these big clears come out hunter mm -hmm. dangerous backboard power is scrambling well in their defense but they're still looking very awkward yeah we'll see we'll see if that can be broken Ooh, though hunter nice touch. Ooh, just can turn it on a dime. And that is going to be one of the Pioneer strengths, their ability to just increase that tempo at a moment's notice. We've seen it from Hunter a couple times now already in this game. If you want to get power off balance, a good way to do it. And now they have a chance. Scrub has Banana Head behind, tries to go solo, Ooh. though, nearly puts it in. Couldn't quite find the goal. Surprised no one was there, honestly. That was a great play from Scrub. Maybe missing some boost. Here's a chance. Top corner and out. The Pioneers are starting to gain control of this game. Yeah, they are. They've been looking stronger on that attacking side, but here comes Power once again. And like, I don't know, with how controlling Power has been as well when attacking, it almost feels like they can control it for this final 45 seconds Good until plan. another deep touch. Able to push it out. Power able to recover it. And again, they're on the hunt. Fever doesn't get the second touch. Yeah, close though. Pioneers struggling here. It's one all at the moment, but with 30 seconds remaining, doesn't look like anyone has boost. Temp is so Fever. quick to that. Fever even faster and gets the goal. Yeah, and as soon as there's blood in the water, as soon as the Pioneers defense starts to panic a little bit with that double commit, immediately Fever is driving towards that ball, spiking it down and in power. 24 seconds away from a 2-0 advantage. And it's another dribble setup from them. Just Torsos just toying with them, flicking it high. Power following each other beautifully. And this style is working really well against Pioneers who are struggling a bit to get the big clears. Demo in the net, not enough for the Pioneers to put this one at an equal state. 10 seconds to go, one last attack. You'd have to think Scrub with the bump gets Fever off balance who recovers oh, for the touch. Hunter's there though. Torsos and Amphis behind. Can't even get it past the former. Fever will clear it to safety. Power up 2-0 in the series. Yeah, Power doing well. Pioneers certainly making their way back in this series. That was competitive and they were finding their chances, but it just feels so Power controlled right now. Yeah, it, it really does. And I mean, Pioneers did get more opportunities for themselves. We did get to spend more of this game in the orange side of the pitch than in game one, that is for certain. But it still feels like to me, Jake, that like the Power attack, it's just so smooth. Like yeah. for lack of a better term, like they just, the, the ebb and flow is there. The rotations are clean. They're not making unforced errors. They're not double committing. Everyone's in that right spot. And it's so difficult for the Pioneers to kind of break that offensive line. Yeah, I, I think the big difference, though, is that they've brought that that clinical aspect that it felt like they were missing before. Before, they looked a bit too chill in offense. They were sitting very far back, only relying on, like, one person to dribble, expecting them to score. But now it's, like, one person dribbles, which is actually a pass, which then someone is, like, super quick to follow up with. And, yeah, it's brought power back to, honestly, a dominating performance here. Pioneers, they did step up. It still wasn't enough. We need even more. 
Yeah, and I, again, I, I mentioned it like towards the end of that game when the Pioneers are able to quickly snap increase that tempo. That's when they were finding their advantages when they weren't allowing power to kind of play a little bit slower, a little bit more controlled. That's when they kind of got that edge. So I'd like to see Pioneers almost play a little bit more loose with the ball and just look for those driving touches, look to play a bit of bang ball to try and break up the power. Mm -hmm. And then maybe they'll find gaps through it. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see as we get, you know, ever closer to a game three. I believe there was a timeout, if I'm not mistaken, taken by the Pioneers at the end of that one. Yeah, we got timeouts now. So, um, yeah, I think very smart from Pioneers as well. Going to be important to think what's going on. And again, I just want to see more aggression coming out of them, especially a defense as well, because they're just getting dribbled on because they're playing two passive, sitting back waiting and providing all that space for power. Yeah, they, they have been. And I, it, it just, it's hard for me to like say, yeah, go out there and go and challenge when, I mean, after every single dribble 50, power has been the faster team to the ball. So... I, I'm sending two always feels risky for me. I don't know. Like, I feel like staying back and again, just focusing more on that first defensive touch and really trying to drive it, get the power behind it could be an answer as well. I, there's definitely a few things you can try defensively. What they decided to commit to after this timeout, we will see. Uh, definitely something needs to change though on that Pioneer side. Don't want to go down three games to power, even if historically this matchup has gone the Pioneer's way. <laughs> it almost started off instantly with an own goal. Pioneer is bringing on the pressure and it's too much. Banana Head gets the goal. I love the demo afterwards as well. But yeah, this is what we wanted to see. Talking about like speed and just banging it. Banana Head from mid pitch, still the fastest <laughs> one there, gets the dunk. Great stuff from the Pioneers. Oh, that was such a BM demo. I love it. That was sick. No, just, yeah, but on ahead, just absolute statement there and beautifully oh! done after the timeout, but another dribble. Torsos is too good at them. Torsos with a statement themselves. I mean, first of all, Amphis, you know, just forcing Fever out of the way. I love it when teammates get physical with each other, but yeah, Torsos and dribble game. Something else today, immediate equalization, and that's not a thing for the Bioneers fans. Yeah, no, that, that, I mean, that, that's tragic for Pioneers as well. They just had a timeout. Things were looking so good. They got instantly rewarded for it. And then all that effort, well, not for nothing. Pioneers have to oh. continue, you know, <laughs> this good style they've brought. But again, Tosos just dribbling all over him. Yeah, even with the calculated fake, right? That's what that was through the corner. Always. Always. And now Amphis with an open net. No! Boost it instead. Oh, we're going full OCE with this one. Ah, oh, is that like the third one today? Like a really bad open net miss? What's going on? It's been a few of those. Uh, definitely, you know, Yummy commented on my gray hair yesterday. This is why. Moments like that. <laughs> but Banana Head now is still going to dribble it backwards. Oh, Crub is there. No, it goes to the corner instead. Oh, that may as well have been open as well for someone like Scrub. That's a pretty simple backboard. That is not what we want to see. Oh, it's going both ways right now, Jake. It's going both the ways. Game three, getting a little sloppy after such nice games one and two. I was really happy with the play from both sides, but that's all right. We're still early days in this third game. One goal apiece. Eventually, someone's going to knock one in in power. Well, they're struggling to get it past that midfield line right now. Amp is still cheating forward. Torslaus has to go up for it. Scrubs underneath. This could have gone the Pioneer's way. Still might. Amp is dive from the back corner does make the touch hmm. no the pace has definitely increased which has kind of made it a bit crazy but you can see it's obviously benefited pioneers we've got far more of a competitive series now yeah as i'm saying they, pioneers benefit from bang ball and, and they're definitely playing you know <laughs> deep ball bang the ball a fair bit right now i mean look at that pinch if that's not bang ball i don't know what is uh -oh. wow scrum somehow getting the read you're right they are very comfortable in this style but i think power are too although that's a massive clear coming out of another head yeah that was a big one Amphis. see i i don't think power because you say power is just constantly looking to slow it down looking to go for these controlled dribbles and it's when the pioneers have been taking that away from them they've been creating their opportunities as banana head now trying to play that dribble game and it winds up in power's favor. So yeah, I, I think stick with the fast tempo right now. If you are the pioneers, Hunter Ooh. certainly thinks so. Driving touch forces Torsos to dive upwards for the save. Yeah, great patience there from Torsos. Just staying calm. Honestly, having a great series of every bit of the field for him. Here's Amphis with an opportunity going for demos. I like the creativity. Doesn't work just yet. Scrub really well defends that. The power still. 
Just nice, patient pressure play. I feel like the demo game has almost been lacking from both sides so far in this one. Mm. To be honest, it's been relatively calm. You know, a lot of space given uh, in that regard, you know, after kind of passing the ball. Well, there's a demo right there from Amphis, who sticks with it. Maybe spoke too soon. Ball water falls down, but Danahead able to collect. Well, I guess because Power just so focused on these dribbles and also the pressure as well, just wanting to rotate back as quickly as possible. They're really not going all in for any kind of play that a demo kind of forces you to do. Yeah, that that is true. And I, I, you would think if the demo game would come out as a result, it might be more from the pioneer side of things. But because they're also just like driving it so hard in this game in particular, oh, nice like they would need someone to cheat so far forward. Kind of like where Banana Head was right there for the demo game to find effects. So just neither team really putting themselves in that position to play that more physical game. Although Hunter may have found it in this instance, cheating forward, tries to get to the ball first, gets caught up with Fever, still gets there off the recovery. Banana Head's touch is it top bin, not quite. No, they keep it out and look, they also uh -oh. follow it. Although Torsos is off spot, but confident challenge. Hunter not able to get a goal from that one. And again, if the Pioneers drop this game, they're going to be in such dire straits. 45 seconds, we're still tied, but it is power putting on shots. Fever nearly sneaks one through. Now Amphis is going to go for the dribble, has a reset. The loser's control of the ball, or was it a pass to Torsos? Either way, it was saved. No, I'm definitely nervous for Pioneers here. This is certainly a must-win game, a reverse to... A best of seven reverse to it might be a bit too much of them to ask, but with 25 seconds left, it's soon going to be anyone's game. Yeah, a golden goal overtime. It's kind of the silver goal now if someone gets it in the next 10 or so. Power will get the first chance at it. <laughs> Can't find the bump. Scrub takes the ball away. Amphis going to try and throw it back to Fever. Didn't like that look. Tries to slow down the counter, but Hunter gets the better of him. Goes Warner Whoa, what a trying to set up Scrub, but Fever gets there first. Yeah, Fever so patiently defending there. Reads it beautifully, and we're going to overtime again. Must win for KCP here. Oh, this is going to be a dangerous situation, especially off the kickoffs. Power usually so good. Amphis does get the shot. Hunter stayed behind. Torsos unable to keep the pressure onward. So now Hunter looks to go back the other way. Middle of the pitch. Amphis is there. Yeah, Amphis gets a powerful shot. Pioneers on the back foot and they're not getting these big clears that have been favoring them. Power are going to keep up this pressure. We'll see Amphis again with the shot. Oh, Another shot. powerful bang, but Hunter I mean, Hunter's had a few key saves already in this overtime from these powerful strikes. Pioneers, their first chance really attacking with the ball as it falls to the orange side. What can they do? <laughs> Fever has no boost. <laughs> Leaves it for Ooh. Amphis. Thorsos gets the big demo. Hunter respawns in time, though. Gets demoed back. Oh. Hunter, solo play opportunity, but Fever, very solid challenge in the corner. I love how quick Amphis has been to just kind of rotate through and clear these defensive balls know, out as well. Although this is a chance, Hunter beats Torsos and the Pioneers take game three. Yeah, great job with the pressure here. Look how awkward everyone was from power. Torsos doesn't get the clear and what a pass from Scrub setting up Hunter beautifully. Yeah, that was well done by the Pioneers when they saw their moment, a little bit of awkward positioning from power's defense and the Pioneers again, it wasn't series point, but it still feels like they saved the series with that overtime victory. They're not going to be down 3-0. Still in a chance to claw their way back. I'd say they have to win game number four as well to mm. give themselves that fighting chance, but they're in it in power. I mean, that hot start starting to slow a bit. Yeah, and maybe the, the demons of power will be resurfacing for them as pioneers get more and more into this series they're looking good they shut out power uh for the most part only letting in one goal I i'm liking what i'm seeing but yeah I, I think this next game is super important as well it's important for both teams though because yeah it went two one pioneers but when you take a look at like the length that we saw in between those goals right it was like two essentially kickoff goals back to back oh yeah and then was, nothing till that overtime so I, both offenses were struggling in that game is the point i'm getting at and even though pioneers mm. were the ones who kind of eked out that win it's hard to be completely confident in them. Mm. No, I, I, I mean, they're, they're still down in this series. Like you're saying, going down here, they're suddenly forced to win three in a row, which uh, is a reverse sweep and a best of five, at least. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, no, still very tough situation for them. But at the same time, again, these series can swing so quickly the other way. If Pioneers win this one, we're all tied up again. Also, you know what that win means? We get what? to go back to Oasis next game. Guaranteed. Oh, I like nice. that. 
Nice. I, I don't yeah. out there yet, but I, I'm I'm thinking ahead. I, I really like that map. Anyways, we'll get there when we get there. Utopia Coliseum for now. Game number four. Pressure on the Pioneers to keep their win streak going. Would love to see them get, you know, more goals earlier in the game this time around. And a we'll kickoff goal would help. Banana Head shut down by Fever. And for Power, I, I think it's the same problem. They just put their foot off the gas pedal. They had the pressure in that game. They were controlling it more, but at the end of the day, they weren't actually generating that many goal scoring chances. Scrub? Scrub? What? Whereas Pioneers, just, you give them the smallest opportunity and they score something like this. What a play from <laughs> Scrub, the fake. Everyone confused and then he just bangs it top corner with the top of his car. It looks like Scrub had no control, but in reality, everything was in Scrub's control right there. All three defenders beaten, 3v1 goal. And yeah, Pioneers are going to be feeling good after that. Demo's coming in from Fever, but the follow-up not there. <laughs> yeah, follow-up not there just yet. Scrub doing his defensive duties as well. Going to be pivotal. It's a big demo on the backboard. Fever tries to pass to Amphis. Yeah, he's too far back, though. They need to start generating more goal-scoring opportunities, not just pressure. Yeah, they need to get that ball through. And it just hasn't been there since game number two, it feels like, for the power side, despite this offensive pressure. It's been too easy in the past for the Pioneers to flip the map. Not been the case this time. Haven't really been able to just like absolutely drive it. Instead, it's Scrub with a solo play. And that's one of the few times we've seen a Pioneers defender dribble the ball out and not get challenged. Yeah, no, power, power is slipping for sure. They're not looking as sharp, as strong, but at the same time, it feels like Pioneers are getting more mechanical. They are reading the play better and they're managing their boost a lot better to give themselves the chance to make these kind of dribbles. Oh, Hunter versus multiple power members. Uh -oh. That's a spooky double commit. Fever in an awkward spot. Banana Head still not going to be there for the strike either way. Ooh. Still hunting for the goal. Cheeky touch out of the banana, but not enough to put it in. Power still struggling to gain control, and this defense is looking sloppy right now from the orange side. Yeah, it's completely switched now. Now it's Pioneers who are calmly sitting back, waiting for power to panic and pass to them. You can see it there, although something went wrong with the challenge. Power looking not in control at the moment. Yeah, those demons possibly coming back right now for the power side. Fever losing out on the challenge against Banana Head. Amphis will win out, but Scrub already there, ready for it. Hunter waiting patiently, middle of the pitch. Actually, oh. was a little bit too far forward because Torslas is able to drive it back. So, flip map for power. Short lived. They can't quite get the attacking pressure. Oh, a smart turn from Torslas there. Although, look how awkward power is. They're certainly not looking organized in this midfield at the moment. Pioneers now kind of the same issue on the other side. That they're, they're not really generating too many goal scoring opportunities. No, there's like no sense of urgency. Amphis, a little bit more oomph to that could have been a goal, but neither team really showing that sense of urgency. And it makes sense for the Pioneers, right? They've got the lead, but power looking a little lackadaisical. That could have been a big play from Fever. Not quite able to drive it in. Well, even stylistically, I don't think it's a good look for Pioneers. Pioneers seem to play their best when they are getting in your face, trying to score those goals, playing super aggressively. Just one goal lead can evaporate pretty quickly. That it can, and that it might. Scrub looking very good right here. Torsos able to make the save from behind. Now Fever with control will be looking to slow it down, I suppose. But okay, Banana Head was waiting right underneath. Here comes the Banana. No, Ooh. not quite able to punch it through. No, but the pressure continues. Scrub knocks it down, but it's straight to Torsos. Hits it high. It's awkward for Hunter, but he does so well to control that. Yeah, that he did. I mean, Pioneers are just doing very well to control this game, Jake. I don't really know how else to put it. Oh, Torsos oh, almost oh. finds it. Fever open net. There's the equalizer and power. Have finally got one back in. And Pioneers were too chill. How can you let Torsos have a free shot there? I mean, he barely misses, but sets up Fever. Fever being a great finisher here, scoring plenty of goals off his teammates' plays, and it's all tied up. Yeah, but unless Power get that next goal, I'm still not convinced they're back in it. And Pioneers, we'll see what happens here. Fever open net. Yeah, okay, he's not missing that. Two to one. <laughs> yeah, you're convinced now, Max. I mean, oh, uh, stepped it up, Pioneers. Haven't. I mean, something's gone wrong with Pioneers. They're just, like you're saying, missing the urgency. They're giving these chances to power and power of working up. They're taking them. 
There you go, power. That's what you wanted to see. As Banana Head oh, trying to find that equalizer, but won't be able to get too far with it. Torso's now bringing it back over the top of Hunter. Banana Head diving back. Not a lot of places for him to go with the ball. So many power members forward at the moment. It's going to be difficult for the Pioneers to get it out Ooh. of the box. You can see them struggling. Power just swarming to the ball and eventually bumps from Hunter. That's what gives the space and alleviates some of the pressure. Yeah, they're all super low boost. Banana Head doing a good job of conserving his boost. Grub doing a great job with the little boost he had. The power going to be right back there. There's the big hit. Banana Head left alone. He needs a big clear. He gets it. The power is sitting so far back there ready for this. Yeah, that they are as we hit our final 30 seconds. Here comes Amphis shot. Nope. Not going to get it through. Hunter makes that save. Now Scrub back up the other way. Only take it to the middle of the pitch. 15 seconds left, Jake. Pioneers, they've got one more chance left in them. Yeah, like we said, they're going to have to win three in a row if they can't at least equalize this series. They still have to win it. And here's Amphis. Chance goes for the fake. Doesn't get it, but probably won't matter. One second remaining. Hits the ground. Power take game four. Yeah, power bounced back after a tough game three in control of this series right now. And it felt like the Pioneers controlled so much of that game, though. Like, it, it's hard for me to kind of be like, yes, power was the better team throughout. But that late flurry, minute and a half, all it took for them to get mm. those last two goals. And it it's so difficult to win three in a row. Power, this is their chance to finally, you know, take down the Pioneers. No, it's the same problem Power having, though. Pioneers only had two shots that entire game. They were kind of kind of dominating the pressure, but they weren't making anything of it. They only had a one-goal lead, and yeah, when we saw when that when that evaporated, it got worse from there. Instantly got the lead taken away from them, and then Power regained. Yeah, Power regained, held on through those final seconds, and now it's Power on match point. We could finally be seeing our power versus ground zero matchup tomorrow if they're able to take this one out. Alternative Pioneers winning three in a row. It would be another great collapse. Uh, something power fans definitely don't want to even entertain the possibility of. We're going to Oasis, though. Dead Eye Canyon, as it's called. Big moment for power if they can seal this series away and get back to their winning ways against other top three teams. Mm. No, I'm expecting the best out of power here. Again, they, they must have been so frustrated with how last split went, especially against Pioneers. They're feeling good. They're in the driver's seat here, and I'm expecting them to bring it all in this match to, to end the series. Yeah, they're going to have to, and in these situations, I know Hunter has been the new go-to for this Pioneers team. I tend to look at Banana Head, but we look at Torsos right now. The dribble, good. The save, better scrub. Able to get the read off of Fever. Yeah, Fever was very quick to that, but Scrub smartly stayed close to everything. Amphis passes almost to the other team. It was actually Torsos there first. Amphis, oh, I like the idea. Fever almost gets an open net, but uh, Pioneer's holding on with his defense. Yeah, Hunter from out of nowhere with that save underneath. Oh. Great stuff, and now Hunter with the shot. But this time it's Fever who gets behind. Shots coming fast and furious right now. Scrub! <laughs> what an angle, what a dirty cheat. It's not going to work out on this instance. Now everyone from power confused with the Amphis, oh. the dribble. Hunter barely back in time, but what a play that would have been. So many of these saves coming diving from behind right now. Both teams struggling to kind of rotate back to keep up with the tempo, just hanging on. Ooh. And yet now again, there could be an opportunity. Torso's actually pulled off. Saw Scrub was going to get the touch. And it looks like the pace is starting to slow down, albeit only briefly. Banana Head cheated forward once again. Hunter in position, strike. Ball's in a dangerous spot. Scrub puts it through, and the Pioneers strike first. Yeah, Faven's Pioneers is back and forth. Fast play. You can see power all backwards. They can't get the big clears, and look how clinical they are. Scrub gets the goal. And every time the tempo increases, it feels like that's just playing right into the Pioneers' court. Time and time again, they're the ones who capitalize on the chaos. And power they got to once again find a ways to control the game without looking too too controlled too slow that's where they struggled in the past it's, it's finding that happy medium but the pioneers might not even let them yeah well we'll see we're back into the situation we had last game pioneers have a single goal we'll see if they slow down again already it doesn't look like it but on ahead scrub everyone pushing forward hunter will be the one through the corner fever underneath Tries to touch it out of the box, but they're ahead, popping it up for Scrub. 
Gets the reset. Banana is waiting off of that roof. Banana head now. Actually waiting for it. Has a reset themselves down to Hunter Strike. Working for replacement than power. Fever had the red. Yeah, but Hunter's going to get another chance. Double touches it. Power, they both die for the ball. We're seeing some double commits here, and Pioneers are starting to look aggressive, although it might bite Torsons. them. Torsons open that top corner. He equalizes. Oh, so quick on the counterattack, and it's good to see Power increase the tempo for once. I mean, good fake from Fever right there. Definitely causing hesitation through Hunter to allow Torsos to keep that open net shot. So intelligent play from the two of them. Tie ball game once again. And what a shot from Torsos. Again, having an amazing series after struggling all of the winter <laughs> They're getting a chance as well. Out of nothing, they get the lead again. Oh, you say out of nothing, but it's a power kickoff. And there's a reason why this squad used to be so feared. F is from the roof, just draining it. And power, under three minutes to go. They can do it here, Jake. Can this defense hold? Yeah, well, again, I don't think either team should be worrying about holding their defense. It's clearly not working for Pioneers. I don't want to see it from power either. I want to see them extend this lead further if they want to win it. Yeah, you know, the best defense is a good offense, right? Play in, control the middle of the field. Don't give your opponents a chance to strike. Well, at the moment, Pioneers should be able to find that chance. They're on the orange side of the pitch, but no one in the middle. Fever, so much space to work with. They're just going to take it oh, to the house. The Three to one. <laughs> It's a dirty air dribble bump from Fever, but he'll take that any day. Beautiful scrub can only try his best. So difficult to defend against when you're backwards and so clinical from Fever to pull that off. I mean, one of the best sort of back to front players, Fever, and I don't understand how they were allowed to get that much open space in the middle of the field. That's going to be a lethal mistake for any team, Pioneers included. Yeah, Pioneers have a lot to, a lot of ground to cover now. They need two goals, only two minutes remaining. That last goal as well felt like because they pushed up a little too aggressively, so that's going to be in the back of their mind as well. This is going to be tough. Double commit into the corner, but no follow-up for the Pioneers. They're hesitating middle of the pitch and needing two goals. I'm not sure they can afford to not capitalize on those positional mistakes. Scrub now. Popping it up. We'll get it past Torsos. This could be good. Gets the second touch. No, no it's wide. Banana Head tries to recover. It's high. Hunter tries to recover. It's high. Banana Head tries to recover. It's off the post. What is happening? Can no one recover? Oh, Pioneers. That is tough. That is tough. Especially right at the end. Absolutely wide open. Nothing going their way. They still need two goals. It looks like Power might make it three. Oh, Pioneers, what is going on? That was four open net misses, Jake. That was, yeah, that was four. Sick. That was sick. <laughs> the last one was my favorite. <laughs> Just call the game. It's done. <laughs> like, you don't come back from that. Surely you don't come back from that. <laughs> oh, especially how important that goal was. Just to get it back within one. There's still low time remaining with a two goal deficit here and low time. It's just feeling impossible. Oh. You know, it, I, I kind of with you. I think Power may have done. We'll see what happens. 50 seconds to go, but now Power's going to get oh another no. goal. Torsos it's doesn't over. miss those open nets. And three goal cushion Power, I think they've done it. And the team who crumbled last split are forcing Pioneers to do the same here. Pioneers just falling apart and Power looking so dominant in, in the process. Yeah, four to one right now. And... This is the power we wanted to see all winter long, right? This is the power we expected to see, I should say. Are they back? I don't know. We'll see how they look against Ground Zero. That's going to be a matchup for tomorrow. But today, it is power on top. They're going to go to the winner's final. Pioneers, they're going back to that lower bracket. But that is, you know, if there's any team that's made lower bracket runs historically, it has been the Pioneers. So they might be comfortable there. Either way, this is definitely a, you know, monkey off the back moment for the team in yellow and black. No, what, what, what a performance here from Power as well. To do it in such a dominant fashion as well, they're just, they, they have a lot to be proud of here and they're going to be feeling confident going up in uh, that final against Ground Zero. Yeah, they, they are going to be, I think, feeling very, very strong. But for now, the ball will hit the ground. Power gets it done. Four to one, dominant series from this team and it's good to see them back it's good to see them get that victory i think you know pioneers they'll bounce back we definitely haven't seen the last of them that's for certain they're going to be playing later today 
but uh, yeah, it's just it, it's a step forward that power desperately, desperately needed. Yeah, it might even be bittersweet for them all, honestly, to think about what if they brought this out last split before it was too late, what happened, but it's a brand new split, everything's reset again in terms of at least the major, they still have a lot of world's implications on the line, but they, they, they've got to be very proud of themselves. They've obviously worked very hard in the offseason. Yeah, they have worked hard, and it's good to see that hard work pay off for the Pioneers. They get a chance to bounce back. I mean, that last flurry of shots in game five, you got to you gotta put that behind you. You got you got to move that one on. Uh, you still have more games to play uh, later today. I believe they got 95X, and that is another team that could punish, you know, if you don't make the, sort of those clean plays right now. Uh, it, <sighs> That's going to be a big series. I think that's another one that could go long. Yeah, well, I mean, 95X hope it for sure. I, I think Pioneers will be very confident, but 95X, we, we've seen ups upsets from them before. Yeah, that we have. We'll kind of see how that one play out. But for now, we're going to be going to a break. When we come back, we're going back to the lower bracket as well as an interview with Amphis. So those are two things you're not going to want to miss that one. Do stick around. More best of 